Hello, this is Dr. Janet Six, Senior Product Manager at Tom Sawyer Software. And today we're talking about how to generate web application code when you have custom Java code in your application. The Generate Web Application Code feature can be used when custom Java class files already exist. And the generated README file that we create with this feature will give you instructions on how to build and run your application. Common reasons to have custom code include custom evaluators, functions, actions, and UIs. Custom evaluators and functions are generally used to optimize complex drawing rules. The functionality we see in today's video can be used with or without custom Java code. First, we open our application project file in Perspectives Designer. Then we go to the toolbar and select Generate Web Application Code. In this dialog, we're going to set the project ID, which is the output folder name, Maven artifact ID, and jar name. In this case, we'll choose Generation Example. And next we enter the group ID, which specifies the Maven artifact coordinates and Java package to be created. Here we keep com.companyName. And lastly, we enter the output folder, which is the location for the generated application code. And we click OK to generate the web application code. Let's go take a look at the files that we just generated. And here is our application directory with our generated files. And it includes a readme file, which we're going to open. And this is going to give us instructions on what to do next. First, the readme file is going to give us instructions on how to set up our Maven environment, which we've done before the video today. Then it's going to give us an option on whether or not to use a generated script to build and run our application or to do that manually. Today, we're going to show how to do it manually. So we're going to choose the Maven command here from the readme file. Then we're going to go over to our application directory and open a new terminal at this folder. We'll enter the Maven command and start the build for the application. and the build has completed successfully. We're going to go back to our readme file, and we're going to pick up the next instruction to start our application. So we're going to grab our Java command and copy and paste it into our terminal window. The application is now running. We're going to go back to the readme file and we're going to get the location of the server. So we're going to copy the URL and we're going to go over to our web browser and we're going to enter the URL here. And here is our application running locally. The Generate Web Application Code feature also creates deployment scripts to speed the deployment of Perspectives applications to Docker, Kubernetes, and Terraform environments. There is another video on YouTube which shows details of application deployment. In today's video, we showed how to generate web application code for Perspectives applications which include custom Java code. We also showed how to build and use the application. Thanks for joining us. Contact Tom Sawyer Software today to start your free trial of Tom Sawyer Perspectives.